Hey guys, Jimmy here from JimmyBrenton.com and I am really, really excited today to be sharing uh, a tool that I developed for myself with you that you can now use for free. It's completely, I'm giving this all the way. Um, and I hope that it will help you get results and get started the way that you need to. So a while back, I found that when I was trying to help people with their health and fitness, I was always focusing on the information. You need to do this type of workout, you need to eat this, etc, etc, etc. And while the information was great, it worked, as long as they did it, they would get results, people still wouldn't do it. And that was a big problem because I was thinking, well, you have the information, just just do the work. What's what's the problem here? So I thought back to like when I was first starting, what I did, and I finally figured out the key to getting healthy and fit is consistency in the beginning. You can have the best personal trainer in the world. You can have the best meal plan made exclusively for your body. But if you can't figure out how to do it consistently, consistently you are not going to get anywhere with it. So one of my passions in the health and fitness field is helping people build up their habits of consistency especially when they first start or maybe they've been off for a while and they're starting again so i developed this little sheet that you're going to be able to download uh below this video somewhere you'll figure it out i'm sure uh but i wanted to explain this sheet really quick so you understood what we were doing what the point of it was and how to build up this habit uh, there is this big misconception, I think, that habits take 21 days or 66 days and there's studies and all this other crap. And to me, it doesn't matter how long people say it takes to develop habit. It takes as long as it takes for you. You're unique. Numbers don't matter. So here's what I've done is this little sheet I've got, and this might change, you know, over time. It's going to develop and get better. But up here on the very top, I have these little boxes, okay? And in these boxes, you're going to check off every single day that you do a workout. Now, we're working on consistency here, not quality. So it really is more about quantity than it is quality during this beginning phase of you trying to build up this habit. So it doesn't matter if you work out for five minutes a day. It doesn't matter work if you work out for two hours a day. The box gets checked the same. And what I want you to do is I have 30 days here uh, of boxes just because it's kind of, you know, normal month is around 30 days, give or take. So I want you to try to set a goal, maybe seven days a week, 10 days, 20, whatever your goal is, go big and try to get that many workouts done consistently. Now, some of you might have rest days or you might be tired. The idea there is still to get a workout in. Now, it could be something as simple as maybe some stretching, some yoga, uh, or maybe just a really quick workout. What I've also done here at the bottom is for those of you guys who are just starting, if you're not working out with me or have a program that I have maybe advised you to do, I've given you a great uh, killer workout, about 10 minutes probably. Then I have this other one right here. They call it Get It Done. This is the workout you want to do is if your life has gotten crazy, maybe family, job, work, deadlines, whatever it is, and it's like 11 o'clock at night and you're about to go to bed and you're like, oh my God, I didn't get my workout done. This is it. Five minutes, simple, easy. You can get it done. You can check off that box. You can be happy that you did it. Now, why are we doing this? Why am I giving you five minute workouts and then you can find hour long workouts or do your own schedule? Because mentally, it's really important to build up that consistency. As long as you're telling your brain that you are going to stop what you're doing for the day, you're going to take five, 10 minutes or whatever it is out of your day to work on yourself, work on your health. Then you do it and then you come back to your day. That's telling your brain and reinforcing the fact that, hey, I'm taking care of myself. I'm getting my workout done and I'm doing something. And the more of those little somethings that you can acquire, the better the habit's going to build up. So it doesn't matter if it's five minutes or an hour as long as you're doing something. Now, really important note on this is if you work at, it actually doesn't even matter where you work. If you just take, the, the idea here is that you need to take out time to say, this is my time to work out. If you just walked a lot at work today, that doesn't count, okay? Yes, you are burning calories, yes, you are moving, but the idea is to mentally tell your brain, I'm stopping what I'm doing right now, 
and I'm starting to do a workout or I'm starting to take care of myself and then it's only going to take a little bit of time, I'm going to stop that, I'm going to go back about my day. So that's a really important note is it has to be a separate amount of time. It can't just be something you did that day. Um, so anyways, I have my workout, uh, get it done workout really quick. And then also if you're having a rest day, if you are coming into this thing uh, really tired or whatnot, you know, five, 10 minutes of stretching still counts in my book. It's still checking off that little box in your brain that says, hey, I got a workout today. You're going to set a number, see what you can get to. I think seven to 10 days in a row is a great number to start with. And, uh, and then last but not least, I put one of my favorite quotes in the middle there and it says, if it's important to you, you'll find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. Uh, like everything in life, that quote kind of just says it all right there. If it's important to you, you'll find a way. If not, then you're going to make up some kind of excuse. So that's my consistency challenge, what I'm calling it right now. That's my sheet. Um, check it out, download it, enjoy it, give it to other people, whatever you want to do. And if you would like to go uh, with me on this journey, please join either some of my free groups that are going on. I also have paid groups if you would like a little bit more assistance and tips and tricks and really dive into whatever your goals are and one-on-one -on -one help for me. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for your time watching this video. Check out jimmybretton.com for more stuff. I'm really excited. Uh, connect with me. Uh, email me. Let me know how this is working for you and uh, have some fun with it. Thanks a lot.